1 to 24. You have entered into a new time now. So it would be upon your calendar. Pay attention, says the Spirit of God, to 24. Because this is a governmental year. And it's not just a governmental year concerning politics. But it is a governmental year concerning the court of heaven. And my court, my justice, my righteousness that has come into the earth in 2024. And seated with me in the court of heaven are the 24 elders of the Lamb. And they sit here this year of 24 because of the governmental shift that is coming to the earth that will affect nations, leaders, politics, legislation, justice, judges. For the 24 elders have held the prayers of a remnant people in their hands. And the eternal advocate, Yeshua, has stood amongst the 24 elders gathering the prayers of you who have prayed therefore we have reached a verdict and this that we have reached this verdict shall be the entering in of the rest that I have said to you I will rest my case therefore I will involve myself with your politics I will involve myself and there will be a scattering there will be a gathering there will be changes that which is different than what you see now and they will say this is what represents us and God says I will disrupt I will interrupt and I will disappoint but I will reach my satisfaction because even now pray 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 says the Spirit of God for there are those who have sought in times past to bring about hostility harassment harshness to think that they can bring about a stealing of your freedoms they gather now and they know that they are losing grip they are losing power they are losing their way and God says they gather and say what must we do now it's not working they will seek to bring civil unrest to the cities upon this nation, United States. And they will seek to cause chaos to happen. But you must pray. And they seek to allow those who have come into this country to wound you and to bring this nation into a time of war. But the God the invincible one the king of glory steps in at this time and there will be wars and rumors thereof and there will be fires that will arise here and there but do you think that this will stop the verdict that has been declared and now decreed in the earth by the great God the elders and the eternal advocate do you think that this is the end of all things I say to you listen I said I would give the harvest to my son the greatest harvest and I said that I would give a generation to the children at this time not of the season 
that you have seen and you have been a part of. So listen carefully. As Yeshua in the earth with his finger wrote in the sands, they put down the rocks. They ran in fear. The verdict of the court of heaven comes now. And Yeshua writes again. And this time it is written in decrees that you will see volcanoes, the Vatican, vacancies, verdicts, vindication, victories, and vendetta. What does this mean? My justice will rule at this time. And because my justice is in the earth, pay attention to judges who have thought that they could legislate according to briberies. Oh yes, I will expose that there has been shaking of hands behind the scenes. Therefore, pay attention as I involve myself now as the verdict is written across the things that will take place in this governmental year. I will reset. I will remove. I will reverse. And I will require that the guilty be brought to justice. <laughs> Pay attention! There will be many signs. And I will smoke it out in Iran. I will expose it from the soil of Syria and I will shake it in Estonia and I will call it forth from Ukraine and I will show the earth how there has been a plotting a planning a strategy a working together of evil God says there has been a countering that I will reveal and I will show for the one who all of heaven looks to and says who 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 is worthy to open the seals the Lord eternal God he stands in this governmental year and it shall be known as the day of reckoning and it shall be known as the time of unsealing things in deep places hidden places some have gone on and they are no more but their names their names will be brought to a place of guilt. And there are those who are alive who are trembling at this time because they know who they are and what they have done. They cannot hide, neither can they run. But they will take some their own life because the time of reckoning and the time of unsealing is upon the earth now. And what they've done to the children demands justice. What is this, you will say, with the Pope? 
What is this with a chief justice? What is this with the loud and the boisterous? Why are they shaken? Their networks, those who have reported and knew that they were reporting falsely. Watch and see. For there will be signs that this is a change of season now. As ominous dark clouds will gather across the earth. And men will say, what is this? We've not seen it like this. The heights, the depths, the width, the darkness of these clouds. And God says it's to so show that the season is changing. And the downpours of rain shall be great. United Kingdom. You have held men and you held women as queens, as prince and of royalty. Yet what has been done has been secret, dirty, and has crossed the line. United Kingdom, your day of reckoning is coming to show you you don't have the royalty you think you do. And there shall be an eruption, a great eruption in the earth. Pay attention. A great, great eruption. Pay attention. This is not just a natural eruption. This is the earth vomiting. And so I will shake you, Vatican. And I will show you that you cannot be hide behind a cloth that is filthy. Even now, they mock the God of Israel. They mock the God of the whole earth. They mock the God of you, United States, and they laugh at you. Yet I shall not be mocked, saith the Lord. And what man has sowed, they shall surely reap. Much will be done in the first five months of your year to spin it out of control, to bring confusion, to bring lies, to convince men they are sick, to convince men that hostility is the way. Yet pay attention. As spring comes, so shall a great wind arise. And a shifting will begin to take place that will accelerate you through your summer months and bring a preservation over this land. That what they seek to do, I will frustrate their purpose. Come on, just lift up your hands for a minute. Thank you, Lord. Come on, just lift up your hands, those of you that are watching. Lord God of hosts, we worship you. 
we worship you. You have promised that we would come into rest. Rest from our enemies. Now may the vengeance of God come among the earth of those who are trying to interrupt God. Righteousness, justice, morality. And may thy kingdom come and may thy will be done. Have your way, God. Have your say. That men will know in the earth that there is God. And that you would receive your honor as you did over Pharaoh and over the Egyptian army. Get your honor, God, over the enemies who have tried to destroy this country because you will not be mocked. It's time for you to act. Act of exposure. Exposure act. It's time for these things to manifest, God. And for you to have your way. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Come on, just worship him for a moment. Those of you that are watching, worship him. Lord, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Be it done according to your word. We worship you. 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 We honor you. Oh God, we receive your rest. We receive, God, all that you're saying, all that you're doing. Change is in the air. Come on, somebody shout, change is in the air, in the air. Come on, change. Thank you, Lord. Now give God a big shout of praise. How many of you get the feeling that God is meaning what he says?